November 19th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Revelation chapter 8 from the New Testament. Now when the Lamb opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about a half an hour. Then I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and seven trumpets were given to them. Another angel holding a golden censer came and was stationed at the altar. A large amount of incense was given to him to offer up, with the prayers of all the saints on the golden altar that is before the throne. The smoke coming from the incense, along with the prayers of the saints, ascended before God from the angel's hand. Then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar, and threw it on the earth. And there were crashes of thunder, roaring, flashes of lightning, and an earthquake. Now the seven angels, holding the seven trumpets, prepared to blow them. The first angel blew his trumpet and there was hail and fire mixed with blood and it was thrown at the earth so that a third of the earth was burned up. A third of the trees were burned up and all the green grass was burned up. Then the second angel blew his trumpet and something like a great mountain of burning fire was thrown into the sea. A third of the sea became blood and a third of the creatures living in the sea died and a third of the ships were completely destroyed. Then the third angel blew his trumpet, and a huge star burning like a torch fell from the sky. It landed on a third of the rivers and on the springs of water. Now the name of the star is Wormwood. So a third of the waters became Wormwood, and many people died from these waters because they were poisoned. Then the fourth angel blew his trumpet. And a third of the sun was struck, and a third of the moon, and a third of the stars, so that a third of them were darkened. And there was no light for a third of the day, and for a third of the night likewise. Then I looked, and I heard an eagle flying directly overhead, proclaiming with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to those who live on the earth, because of the remaining sounds of the trumpets of the three angels who are about to blow them. God, we tend not to think of the end of the world on a daily basis, although if you read the headlines in the news, it kind of feels that way. And we also kind of don't think on a daily basis about condemnation, especially sadly. If we are already saved, uh, we don't give it as much thought. And we should definitely give it as much thought because you have called us to love others, not just the lovable, but you've called us to love everyone. And if we truly love everyone, then we are in fear for them of that condemnation. And we can just look around at our circle of friends and realize there's a lot of people that aren't going to make it. Meaning if, if the end of the world happened today, um, I don't know what you have planned for all of those people. Um, but in realizing that condemnation for the people around us, for all the people that aren't saved in our lives, there should be a bigger sense of urgency in our life for those situations. Um, what we just read was pretty dramatic. Uh, the seven angels and we're going to hear what the other three are doing tomorrow when they blow their trumpets. But I think it's incredible to read that for about 30 minutes that heaven was completely silent. I don't ever imagine heaven being completely silent. But that's how big a deal this was that you were about to let the people on earth know uh, that they were in trouble. Uh, very similar to what we saw um, with the plagues in the Old Testament. So we know when the angel uh, blew the first trumpet that that was a hail, fire, blood cast upon the earth, cast upon the land um, type of situation. We know with that one third of the earth was burned we received one fourth of the people with the seals now we're in the one third portion so one third of the land was burnt up the second trumpet uh, a burning mountain was being cast into the sea and uh, a third of the rivers were bloodied and i suspect that this I don't know anything, but I suspect this has to do probably along the lines of volcanoes. Um, trumpet three had to do with uh, stars falling. 
and because that star specifically wormwood fell into the water then the waters became poisoned uh, and all of the people who drank from the water uh, were poisoned as well and then we see the fourth trumpet in this reading today uh, a little over halfway through uh, we know that with that a third of the sun was struck a third of the moon and a third of the stars so that a third during the day uh, were darkened and I really wonder what it's going to look like on those days when these judgments start to rain down on earth from you and then I realize that even though specifically that those specific judgments aren't happening yet we still are receiving your judgment especially in places like the United States where our arrogance has become an idol money has become an idol titles Hollywood sports all of fame has all become idols God I just pray that today we will be reminded to intentionally keep our thoughts clear that the people around us if today becomes the end of the world that they're going to hell and do we truly love them enough to set aside our feelings our concerns our agitations our tensions and do what you called us to do I know ultimately it's you who saves them but you still expect obedience from us so are we going to make it about us and our uncomfortableness or are we going to share the love that you shared with us and tell as many people as possible about you God right now I just pray for all the people that are more fearful of men than they are of you who are more more willing to be people pleasers and God you definitely come in a very very last second on that list for them it breaks my heart when I watch people who say they're Christians when all these other things come first including their own comfortable uncomfortableness before our obedience to you God God allow every opportunity that you provide to me to talk about you empower me to take every single one of those opportunities and if there's anything holding me back from telling people about you or anyone else listening to this video right now God just take away those concerns and those agitations and that tension and that uncomfortableness we don't have to worry about what uh, the other person's going to say or think <laughs> it might even be good all we have to do is be obedient to you God I know that the end of the world has to happen this way I know it's going to be not calm and peaceful like your son coming into the world but it's going to be unlike anything that we have already experienced I know that that has to happen but in the meantime lead my feet open my heart and my eyes and guide the words from my mouth to be pleasing to you every single day God in your son's name I pray Amen